got to continue to make sure that we develop ourselves, read about what's going on in our industry, stand on top of things, make it your business to meet other people in your profession outside of your uh, comfort zone or your circle of influence. You got to fertilize your mind, just like we have to fertilize the ground. Number two, we have to plant seeds. Invest your time, making sure that you have what you need. Open your mouth and let people know what you need. Ask for what you want. Find a way to give yourself, give to yourself the way that you give to others. And then finally, we have to remove the weeds that may choke out our beautiful landscape. Be aware of anything that's trying to hold you back. Assess your intake of food and conversations and the energy that's around you. And always live your life each day as though it's the last. We must water our landscape so that it continues to produce stronger character, more compassion, a greater sense of passion, and accountability. Our jobs are not easy. The weight of our responsibility is huge, but so is the fruit of our labor. Doing great work is what we do. And there may be pressure sometimes and stress and other inhibitors. But the key is to take care of you first. Make sure you take time to relax, to meditate, to walk, to dance, to do those things you love to do so that you can be happy, be healthy, and be strong from a physical, emotional, and mental perspective. We don't hand over the keys to our cars for others to drive, so why would we give the keys to our happiness and well-being? Looking out for and taking care of yourself is not selfish. It's necessary. Make self-care a priority. You know, we hear people say sometimes, you should be in my shoes or you should walk a mile in my shoes. So it's time to walk in a new pair of shoes. Our feet are ready to walk into uncharted territories filled with new ideas and new opportunities to become a new, a better you, a healthier and much more satisfied and productive you. There is a powerful leader on the inside of you screaming to be released. And it's time to. It's time to launch into the deep waters and allow your full potential to emerge. You are on a wonderful journey a greener, more productive, more successful place. And it begins right now, right here, today. So as I close, I want you to stand just for a second. As I share a declaration with you. Leaders, this is your season to be greater. This is your season to do greater. This is your season to give greater. And this is your season to receive greater. Thank you for allowing me to share a part of my life with you today. You are truly, truly an amazing group of people. And I want you to have an awesome and incredible day. But that's what I have for you, is to encourage you to be who you are and to let the true leader that's on the inside of you come out. Not next week, not when you graduate, not after your 40th birthday, not after your next promotion, but on today. So to each and every one of you, thank you very much.